honestly believe that the type of needle that you choose to work with can affect the quality of your stitch, the overall outcome and durability of your product, and the lifespan of your machine in the long run. Hello Kdivas and welcome back to the channel. My name is Priscilla. I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. On this channel, we share all things fashion design and the reality of running a fashion business. So if you're new on here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications as well. So you know every single week when you have a new video on the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys into the world of industrial sewing machine needles. And I've broken the video into two main portions. There's the first part where I talk you through the common types, and then I talk you through the sizes later on in this video. I actually have some needles here to show you so you really see the different sizes of needles that you could possibly use for your next project with that being said let's get straight into this i hope you guys find this video useful give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started I honestly believe that the type of needle that you choose to work with would affect the durability of your garment, the lifespan of your product, and the overall finish of your stitch. Now, there are three main general purpose needles I'm just going to talk you guys through. There are way more other ones. There's embroidery needle, there's denim needle, but I'm just going to talk you guys through three types that you might use for your next project. The first one is a round shank needle and this one has a rounded base and is the one that probably came with your industrial machine when you bought it and is very common on a lot of household sewing and embroidery machines. The second type of needle is a ballpoint needle and this is the type of needle you would need to use for a knit or a semi-knit fabric because the needle tip on this type of needle is actually more rounded and why this is that way is because when the needle goes into the fabric, it separates the fiber in such a way that it can actually stitch without piercing or ripping or destroying the fibers of that garment as you work on it. The final type of needle I'm going to cover in this video is the wedge point needle. And this needle has a wedge tip, which allows it to actually penetrate the material without tearing it or damaging it. This type of needle you would use for your leather, for your vinyl, for more heavy duty materials. So that way you're actually able to stitch your garment neatly without ripping or destroying it over time. Now moving on to the sizing system of needles, the thickness of a needle is affected by its size. Now if you go online and you're trying to shop needles or you go in the, in the fabric shop or your sewing supply shop, you would notice that most needles are numbered with two numbers separated by a slash. There is a first number and there is a second number. And that number is the diameter of the needle point. So a very common needle type that you most likely have used is a 90 slash 14. And what that means is that 90 is 0.9 millimeter. That's the diameter of that particular needle. The second number that is after that slash is just another standard. So typically it would be a EU slash US or US slash EU. It's kind of like how you have a UK 10 and a US 6. That's the kind of like convergence that those numbers actually mean. So they are the same, just different standards. Now I'm going to show you guys five different types that I have here with me. And the first two I have are for more lightweight fabrics. The first one is the 7511. This is the thinnest one I actually have. This type of needle you use for your silks, for your taffetas, because it's actually quite slim. The second one here is the 8012. This is kind of like the next level after this one. This one you see used for lightweight fabrics. This you use for your satins, for your chiffons, you know, really nice thin fabrics. I would always say when you're working on projects where you're using like satiny, silky, very lightweight fabrics, try and use very slim needles because in the past when I've used thicker needles to actually sew garments like that, what I noticed is it either ends up pulling the thread of the garments or it creates this pockets that I don't want. So slimmer needles, definitely for lightweight fabrics. The third needle I have here is a 9040. This was the one that actually came with my machine. This one most likely came with your machine when you bought it. This is like kind of like 
the universal size because you can use this to sew a lot of fabrics. I would highly recommend using the 90 slash 14 needle size for your medium weight fabrics like your cottons, your brocade that are typically woven. Emphasis on the fact that they are woven fabrics and they are medium weight fabrics. Yes, you can sew anything with this one, but the outcome that you get at the end would vary based on the type of needle that you use. The last two sizes I have here is 100 slash 16 and 110 slash 18. So these I would use for my heavy duty fabrics like my denim, my leather, especially like this 100 slash 18. This one is actually quite thick. When I opened it and looked at the thickness of this needle, this thing will stitch through somebody's nail if you are not careful. So these two I would definitely set aside for when I'm sewing like my very thick felts, my very thick leathers, my suede. I would use these two needle sizes to do so. I found an amazing table online and the way the table was really arranged is it broke down the different weights of fabrics and the different sizes of needles that they recommend that you use with that. I'm going to put that up on the screen and link the website where I found that. So. You can literally just print that, put it up on your studio wall and use that as a reference each time that you are not sure of which needle to use for which project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. A lot of you have really asked me for this and I'm glad I got around to do it. It was also quite nice to do a lot of research and to figure out like the different like sizes, the different types of needles, discovering and learning what a shank, a base, a point, a diameter, all those things mean. So this was good research for me and I hope this video was helpful to you. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Leave any other ideas you would like me to tackle in terms of like, you know, these really machine tool based sewing type videos i really enjoy doing these because i am learning as well and sharing that information to you guys hopefully will be helpful until next time have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye